I am Anil Kumar sharing with you a very important test question based on surface area and volume. The question here is, a solid copper sphere of surface area 1386 cm square is melted and drawn into a wire of uniform cross section. If the length of the wire is 31.5 meters, find the diameter of the wire. I would like you to pause the video answer the question and then look into my suggestions. Now we are given a solid sphere right with surface area. So what is the surface area of a sphere? Well the formula is surface area of a sphere is 4 pi r square. Correct. So that's the important formula. Let's highlight. We are given its value. Now from this, we can actually find the value of R. For better calculations, these numbers are very properly chosen. So we'll get round numbers. I'll show you calculations without calculator also. So we'll take pi as equal to 22 over 7. Right? Instead of a decimal value of 3.14, that will you'll see how it helps us to find the values. Now surface area is 1386, so let me write down 1386 equals to 4 pi r square. So that means r is what? So we could divide this by 4 pi, so 1386 over 4 pi is equal to r square. Okay, and therefore r will be equal to square root of 1386 over 4 pi, correct? So from here, we get the value of R. Circulator to find the value. So we have square root of 1386 divided by, within brackets, let me write 4 pi, right? So 4 pi, and it is equal to 10.5, right? So, so this value of R is 10.5. Okay, now what I really want to show you here is that if you take pi as 22 over 7, in that case, we could calculate r as square root of 1386 over 4 times 22 over 7, right? Now, you could simplify this because uh, the numbers, the way they have been taken is 1386 is a multiple of 11. 1 plus 8 is 9. 6 plus 3 is also 9. Correct? So, so you could divide this um, by 11. So you get 2 here. And when you divide by 11, you get 11 times 1 as 11. Then you get 28 times 2 and 126. Do you see that part? 126. And 126 can be divided by 2. So when you divide 126 by 2, you get 63, correct? You get 63. So, um, so let me write R equals to, let me show you this calculation further. So uh, what we have here is, okay, let me write 63 here, dividing by 2, right? So uh, over 4 times 7, correct? Now 63 is 7 times 9, correct? So you could write this as square root of 7 times 7 times 7 over 4. And that gives you square root of 7 times 7 is 7 and square root of 9 is 3, right? So 7 times 3 is 21. So basically you get 21 over 2. Do you see that? So 21 over 2 is... 10.5 correct so if the calculator is not allowed you could actually do the calculation and get the same result so that is what I just wanted to take some extra time and show you the calculation if calculator is not allowed which may be the case sometimes right okay now so we have worked out the radius of the sphere so we're talking about the sphere here right that three-dimensional thing Correct. So that is what we're talking about. 
Now, when you are melting a sphere, we are really interested in its volume, correct? So, so that means we have to find the volume of sphere. And when you draw the wires, then again, we are trying to talk about volume of the wire, right? So, so that is volume of wire. So these two volumes should be exactly same. Perfect. As far as the formula for volume of sphere is concerned, it is 4 by 3 pi r cube. For a wire, right, of any length L, it is area of cross section. Now, which is pi r square, right? So, uh, well, so it is pi r square. But let's write radius as diameter over 2 since we need to find the diameter of the wire, correct? So basically, it is pi r square times the length. Uh, and the length in our case is, is 31.5 meters. All these units were in centimeters. So, so we'll write here our length as 31.5 meters or 3150 centimeters, okay? So these are the two things which we know. And R, we found 21 over 2. So let's substitute these values. So we get 4 over 3 times pi times 21 over 2. You could write 10.5, which is exactly the same, right? Whole cube equals to pi times uh, R, we don't know. But we will write in diameter over 2, whole square plus the length, which is 3150. So everything is in centimeters now. Perfect. You could simplify canceling the pi. Now the only variable unknown is d. So we can always find d. Correct. So bringing 3150 to this side, we get 4 over 3 times 21 over 2 cube times 1 over 3150, correct, equals to d over 2 whole square, correct. So, so that is how you could kind of simplify this. Calculate this value, right. So we have uh, 4 divided by 3, well times this by within bracket, 21 cube divided by 2 cube correct and then we are going to divide this by 3150 so that gives you 49 over 100 equals to d over 2 whole square do you see another very beautiful number to work with right so let's take it to the right side and find the answer so we'll square root this, right? So we get square root of 49 over 100 equals to d over 2, which is 7 over 10, right? And equals to d over 2. So the diameter is 7 over 10 times 2, correct? Which is 14 over 10 is the diameter or 1.4 centimeters is the diameter, correct? So we get our answer 1.4 centimeter as the diameter. Now the numbers are so selected that this question could have been solved without calculator. Right, so the numbers are selected in a way that if, you know, you know it could be a complicated question, but if it is without calculator, it could have been solved, as you can see from here, right? Well, calculator is normally allowed, so no problems at all. But I hope you understand these strategies here. First, find the surface area. From there, you get the radius of the sphere. Equate the volume of sphere with the volume of wire to get the diameter of the wire used in this particular case. And do not forget to convert meters to centimeters to get the right answer, right? So I hope all this helps. Feel free to write your comment, share your views. If you like and subscribe to my videos, that'd be great. Also share my videos with your friends. Thanks and all the best.